Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU prepares tax harmonisation through VAT Chief Whip calls EU closed, rigid, overregulated and centralised Car sales plummet throughout Europe as economic implosion accelerates MEPs bleating as EU cuts budget limits Plus, how Britain could turn around its failing car industry I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the theme of fiscal integration continues with this new report published in our legislation section. Under the auspices of crime prevention, the kleptocrats have set about bringing their European consumer tax into the public realm. Here's a position point for you. For many of us, VAT has been around a long time, and we accept it as a tax imposed and conceived here in the UK. But that is not so. Check out UK Value Added Tax on Wikipedia, and you will see that it was first introduced in 1973 under the government of Edward Heath, the joker that saddled the UK PLC on the EEC mule that was to become the European Union. This federal taxation system has been the plan all along. They just kept you in the dark about it. Do you ever find yourself wondering who the people with the real intelligence and insight are? We're led by the nose into believing that our elected and appointed Exitonian public ministers are the creme de la creme, the learned thinkers and wise men. Sadly, there appears to be no evidence to support this. This article reports on the sudden awakening of the former chief whip, Andrew Mitchell, who appears to have had an almost prophetic revelation in his understanding of the EU. Where has this guy been? The article doesn't go on to explain what his new post might be, but if he's looking for work, I understand Ardman Animations are looking for a replacement for Sean the Sheep. Check out the article. It's a revelation. I reported yesterday on the deepening implosion. Well, the news is not good for car manufacturers as EU car sales figures have plummeted. This article reports an 8.7% decline with sales reaching a historic and all-time record low in January. Sad news, with growing inflation and continuing austerity, it's difficult and turbulent times for car sellers in Europe. Oh dear, the kleptocrats at the Euro Bureau are revolting again. Apparently, new budget limits are simply unacceptable to some of our less thrifty Euro pals. Mr Draghi is gasping for water as the Heidelbergs crank out fiat funny money at warp speed. And yet, the Orcs of Mordor still call out for more. Perhaps this might be an opportunity to test developing trade relations with the US. Any chance of a couple of crafty trillion barrack? A new study has reported that Britain could step up production and manufacturing within its car industry if it left the EU. The overall focus would be opening supply chains globally into Britain with the potential to cut sourcing costs, but avoiding EU trade levies and supplement the bottom line by boosting sales into the global marketplace. Taking a position on this, I fully support this sort of initiative. UK PLC has to bring the balance of its economy back. Britain needs as a matter of urgency to revamp its primary and secondary industries and to invest deeply, heavily and long term in technological and engineering development. This article carries the full details. Today in our video library, we have a very interesting time-lapse video of Europe and surrounding nations in this short video, which shows the changing territorial boundaries over the last 1,000 years. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. 
Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.